hello there welcome in to sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here in this video we're going to be looking at messages for the sign of cancer sun moon rising and venus these are general messages right and so it may not all apply to you so take what applies and the rest let it fly okay um for those of you who like a personal reading to get more clarification in what's going on in your personal intimate lives, check out the description box below. Also, while you're here, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Your support, your support is greatly appreciated, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. We're gonna look at finances because I had a particular comment asking about finances. Right, so we're gonna look at finances for Cancerians. What's causing because I know Cancerians Cancerians hoard a lot or hold on to money, right? So so it, it's either you're going to be a spend thrift and spend in a way to fill your emotional state because I know Cancerians like nice things, right? We like to treat ourselves, we like to eat, we like to go shopping. I don't know, we just, Cancerians love money, right? Um, so sometimes we may overspend or spend carelessly if we don't have boundaries. And that, that's the thing with Cancerians. Sometimes even, even, even in other aspects of our lives, we need to work on our boundaries. So maybe work on boundaries when it comes to spending have a vision about what it is that you want for yourself. You have to have some solid foundation, have a purpose, have a goal for where you're getting to, Cancerian, in order to really see growth potential in your money. Also, we're looking at your value, your self-worth, how you feel about yourself when it comes to money. Are you being of service? Do you feel worthy? Do you feel worthy of the money that you have or the money that you're asking for? We have the king here representing the king of pentacles. And that is financially independent, looking good, um, being stable, grounded, knowing what it is that you are worth, knowing your value, having a high sense of self-confidence, independence, self-reliance, reliability. Right. And being of service, putting out good service, good quality service, Cancer, because you know, it is as if you know your worth. So let's get some money cards for Cancerian for the next seven days ahead. Angel spirits, guys, this may be a timeless reading too. Angel Spirit Guides, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Welcome in, Cancer, and remember that you two are a part of this reading, so you have to focus, breathe, set your intentions, ask your questions, so that you can get the clarity that you're looking for. All right, I'm seeing the death energy repeated here. Uh, something could be ending, a new beginning. Who? And then we have the star card. A new beginning, a transformation, a healing. Look it because you're seeking for clarity and that's good. Because once you begin to ask, that's when the answers reveal themselves. Because the answers are already within the question itself, so to speak. So we have to allow things to flow through. Flow in, find balance, healing, trust having faith having faith okay let's shuffle in these first guys two messages for cancer's money right okay we have the king of wands and the ten of pentacles popping out together <laughs> all right so the king of wands cancer is he who has his business very creative owns his own business um, because it came from a creative idea that he had so I don't this is not corporate it's more creative like a fashion a fashion company a, a, a cook shop or a design studio an art studio 
something creative a book a book company something that you write you create you you use through your creative abilities and cancer cancerians are very creative now i could be dealing with or talking to cancers that have a strong leo energy here too in their charts right so you're very passionate creative the one's energy is creativity fertility virility planting a seed watching things grow okay that's the energy of ones fire passion making babies energy desires well making babies when paired with with water energy because fire energy alone anyway that's that's uh, anyway <clears throat> let us continue so some of you have your own businesses and then we have it with the ten of pentacles cancerian which is amazing right the ten of pentacles is new beginnings in wealth so whatever your business is it has a lot of potential do you see all of these pentacles here your business has plenty of potential to prosper to succeed to bring in the wealth that you need cancer so i feel like keep keep focusing on where you're heading as i feel like this king of wands is looking at his journey or the road ahead of him to so really focus on the road ahead of you your goal where you want to get to also enjoy the journey follow your heart use your creative spirit with the yellows here representing your solar plexus energy so really tap into your solar plexus to cancerians for those of you who are having financial difficulties remember breathing helps breathing works cancerians okay so try breathing into your solar plexus um get your creative juices flowing I feel like that's what this is saying for those of you who are struggling financially. Be creative. Tap into your intuition, your power, your gifts, your ability to build something from scratch. So if you're losing out financially, this I feel like I'm really just trying to talk to the person specifically that asks this question here about finances. Really focus on your creative energies, your wisdom, your gifts. I feel like that will make you feel purposeful, in alignment, I feel. That's the energy, as if getting back on the road. Start creating again to bring in wealth. Because you can see here that there's a man in this picture with the king of wands. This is a king of wands energy. This is a high vibrational energy. All right, coming at you with your best proficiency, and then we have um, the ten of wands, and we do the ten of pentacles, and we do see an older man here still represent. I feel with the energy of the king of wands, as if um, I feel like they're saying this money will last you for a long time. This as if you'll be in this business for a very long time, and you'll still be financially abundant as if it is a business that will keep keep in um keep um operating for many 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 years even until you get old and gray and it will still be bringing in money some of you may be employing some people right um angel spirits guys thank you so much any more messages give me more messages for cancers Finances, financial ability, stability, what cancer are working on, what cancer's vibration, considering, considering money. What's going on? Some of you may be receiving something or. Hmm. I am getting the energy where you're you're kind of timid about giving your service, offering your service to others. Your service may be emotionally based, cancer, or spiritually based, something deep. It feels a bit hesitant as if you have this gift to share with others and you're like, uh, um, every, anybody, like you're moving into a crowd and you're like, um, you're very shy or timid about walking into this arena so present yourself 
but you're going that's the beautiful thing you're going you're being brave you're making you're taking the steps necessary to move forward i feel you're driven by your emotions i feel you're very nervous or shy or scared about going on this journey maybe starting this new business here because maybe you will have to be speaking to people or you know something like that um using your emotions your gifts because with the 10 of with the 10 of pentacles i'm getting gifts to your talents maybe you have many many talents cancerian your business is backed by talent okay we have uh so yeah you're going into this arena you're a bit timid and maybe that's why you're not as yet seeing the returns because you haven't really thrust yourself into it fully and maybe you haven't gone into it fully cancerian because this is how it has to be you have to take your time and feel things out to move forward as if you're moving through the dark and you're just using your senses, your intuition, your emotions, being guided by these things. And that's how you're going through. You have to feel your way into the situation. So even walking into a crowd, starting a new business that maybe many people are already are already doing or being of service to many people and you're afraid to approach people, that's the energy too. It's okay because you're fe it's as if you're feeling out the energy before you enter into it. But you're going, you're going. You're armored up, you're ready to offer what it is that it is that is your gift here. You're ready to present your gift. And I feel like you are worthy. You are worthy of it. You are in instated, reinstated as if... You've been put up on a high place, on a, on a high horse here for a reason. You've been given this, and it's a white horse. You've been given this gift, this talent, this mission to go where your heart is leading you to go. Your emotions, your senses are guiding you to go. When it comes to this business or your money and your success, because you deserve it, because... You are worthy of it. You are worthy of it. So don't feel scared. Well, I can't tell you not. Well, I can. I can tell you not to feel scared. It's going to be okay. And I feel for you, Cancer, in that once you actually get into the mix of it, as if when, like, when you actually get into the crowd, you'll realize that you won't lose yourself. You'll find your place. It is as if your place has been waiting for you and you'll just fit right in. That's the energy. That's the energy. Some of you have anxiety, but I feel like this reading may help you to um, introspect, to really think of who you are and what it is that you bring. That's the energy I'm getting with the Ten of Pentacles. Like knowing what it is that you bring, knowing your gifts and, and, and having confidence confidence with the ten of pentacles energy and this is a new journey for you a new beginning and so it may be intimidating the rush of it but it's it's okay i i, I feel like this because we see this king of wands over here looking off i feel like he's actually focusing on this king of pentacles energy here As they're both it's like a cycle where this person is intending this 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 financial stability see the king you see this this is the king of wands again right behind the king of pentacles on the deck here okay so i feel like this king male or female right cancerian you're focusing you're intending on where you want to be financially down the road i feel like there's something about a road maybe traveling someone is going somewhere here going you're on your journey to this to this magnificent abundance here so keep going keep persevering keep building because there's a journey there's a road someone is looking ahead even with the king the knight of cups energy okay cancer so keep looking at where you are going. I feel like you're really focusing on this energy 
and also because I said it's kind of a cycle because I feel like when you get to this energy you'll realize that you're focusing on this energy you're focusing on creativity on expansion growth development prosperity so you're always going to be both even when you get your financial abundance you will have to you'll still remain the king of wands you'll still be very creative and be at, at the top of your game or you'll have to be embodying this energy so that you can remain here and i want you to take a moment to kind of um i feel embody this energy now embody your confidence your financial stability your sense of self-worth and try to embody that now know that you deserve all the best ask for everything 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 that you desire and feel like yes i deserve it i'm on my journey here and even say to yourself you know love attraction and manifestation like say it is already here six of pentacles energy i am already rich i am already wealthy because i have such amazing ideas talents and gifts i am already wealthy you know so you have to feel that energy learn how to embody it embody it find ways to really express yourself too express yourself creatively here we go here we go all right it's not me express yourself creatively express yourself creatively what have you been through i mean what is the three of swords energy what is the three of swords energy for cancer and why is this three of swords in this reading here why did this three of swords come out what is the three of swords card for cancer and for swords guys what is the three of swords <laughs> What is the third source energy? <laughs> and you know, listen, someone said, why do we keep talking about the past? I don't, it's not just my energy that, you know, we're channeling here. We're channeling Cancer's energy. And each time you're, this, we have this swords energy, your three of hearts. Some of you are really maybe stuck in the past. There's someone or something that you need to cut ties with here i'm serious that's if you don't want to be connected to this person this devil energy came out in the reverse virgo energy cancer um capricorn energy taurus energy okay someone want i just i don't understand why <sighs> and he came with the three of swords and we know that the three of swords energy cancerian is broken heart betrayal sadness depression hurt and that you know let's look because that that came into your life because of something that you aligned with and it's not necessarily a person it can be an energy things that you tell yourself when it comes to your sense of self-worth and that's what we need to be working on i feel right your sense of self-worth if you're having financial difficulties step try to step into your independence and know what you deserve you know don't use your your experiences from the past to 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 allow your your future to be distorted because you have something beautiful laying ahead of you some of you are really a uh, I, I feel you um it feels like this um you've been a thorn is still within your flesh a thorn there's a thorn here all right within you you know um like when you get <laughs> Yeah, there's a thorn in your flesh here and it, it's still in there what is it it comes with this devil energy 
it can be a relationship that you're attached to here and look at the bottom of the deck we have the magician and it's in the reverse honestly um whew, listen i think you really some of you are about to cut ties with this energy you just get this energy healing i'm asking you but those of you who do not want to be tethered to this past you f you feel the thorn in you it is an energy that is is i want to say just trying to control your life your belief patterns the way you think of yourself the way you think of your sense of self-worth your money your values because remember your sense of self-worth cancerian is your money if you don't feel good about yourself you're not going to give you're not going to give your best you're not going to be offering service to others some of you may be stuck in a nine to five job which is good if you're progressing but you may think keeping this position and holding on to this position with the four of pentacles here as a safety net because you don't think that you can venture out and do much more using your gifts and your talents to create a business for yourself you can work on yourself here work on your values breathe take care of yourself internally so it's bringing that light from inside of you so it's like goku -go energy you're at the eight of pentacles now working on yourself and then when you get inside out right and then when you get to the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is my goku -go energy card so keep working on you, working on your business, your creativity. Um, of course, save and budget, but expect new things to come into you too. So there's you have to have that balance financially. This energy that keeps popping up into you. Uh, I want to say there's something about the relevance of it. Like I said, like the thorn is still within your flesh. And it is a reminder that it is there. So you need to get it out. Whatever you need to do, pray about it. Use water healing, moon healing, sun energy healing. I don't know, cancer. But if you want this energy gone, which it seems like it is the one that wants to um, be associated with you. Because look at you. Look at you. So I feel like this energy wants to associate itself with you but it's not coming good it's not ready it's not ready to be aligned with you it's it's, it's toxic even though it came out in the reverse it may still harm you and cause you pain it's toxic it's not ready it's not healed this energy is not healed and so it does affect yourself if you're in a relationship with this person it does affect your own sense of self-worth we, we have the magician energy here and i'm trying hard not to say that this could be some kind of a magical magical interference but i do feel it's not it cannot it does not more anymore have um have have a power over you but it is still wanting to to operate it wants to operate but it does not have its stronghold over your entire energy field anymore maybe i feel like one time you were in the eight of the eight of swords energy where you were feeling trapped now you feel more free to create to express to work on yourself and here comes this energy again. So this could be addictions, whatever it is personally that you're struggling with. But it's not good for you because it's keeping you in a state of uh, re not reliving, but just constantly having a feeling of being hurt. I, I think you need to let this go and see what comes. Get surgery. And we're talking about energetic surgery here. You need to remove this thorn. It's stuck in your flesh. You're trying to ignore it, but it's there. That's the energy. Because we came here to look at your money. And I feel like this energy comes out often when we try to look at your money here. Some of you could be married to this person. And they don't want to maybe give you a divorce even after they hurt you. 
gosh angels spirits guys please give me some clarifications for the double energy along with the three of swords clarifications for the double energy is it a grudge a jealous ex an ex a partner a lover is it a personal thing an addiction an attachment is this energy over why is this energy here why is this energy here for cancer why is this energy here even cancer's reading of money Something came to light. Yep, something was revealed. A truth, or is going to be revealed, or wants to be revealed, or expressed, or spoken, or is in the works of being revealed to you about. It feels like, oh gosh, I lost it. I did. It, uh, uh, the truth is about to be revealed about um, hmm. the disguise, a disguise, the, tr the truth as if exp it's not about exposing. It can be about something being exposed here. The truth is exposed about this devil energy here. Oh, flip. Something underhanded. As if you'll be seeing what's been laying beneath everything or what has been the root cause of everything. It felt very thin and light, paper-like. It could be the Bible, a Bible leaf, I don't know. You know what? Give me two seconds. Now we could be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Someone who has their own business. Someone who wanted to control you as if they're controlling their own business here. They wanted to govern over you. See, as if just be in, be in control. As if, say, go and do this and you go. They want to know that they have this say over you. Something will be revealed. Let me tell you this. Some many weeks ago, I did a personal reading for cancer. And it wasn't a video that I uploaded on YouTube. And the reading was saying, you'll definitely be breaking free. All right. You'll be realizing that whatever this strength, this power is, or whatever. We don't even want to say power. This force. This energy. You're about to realize, because you see them sitting here like the emperor. I don't know why we're getting into your past, but or this energy, but we have to because it came out. Someone may be um, watching you, you know. Someone may be watching you, Cancer, but it's okay. So this person, um, yeah, so the reading was saying you're going to realize that this person you know what I'll leave it there I'm sorry to do that but I just just in case someone is watching your readings um in case someone is watching your readings I feel like um, we're going to get more clarifications I may just upload this video in two parts because it's going to be long but this energy is attached to your money vibration. Believe me. Because, yes, remember I said I feel like it's something paper thin, like a Bible leaf, but it could be your money. I lost the energy here when I was really channeling it. Um, I, because I'm, I, I'm, I'm a bit hesitant about really focusing on it because it might take so much time. But here I am, talking and talking. Maybe I'm going to pause the video and really focus on this energy so i can feel what it is and then i'll come back with you all right thank you so much cancer cancer welcome back so what i'm getting is simply 
I feel like you're getting your heart broken, broken, you're getting used and abused or mistreated maybe in the past because this is your past, your past energy by someone you feel like has some type of uh, authority over you. But the illusion is with the moon card is that they are not more powerful than you. It's just an illusion to make you feel maybe intimidated or it, it literally feels narcissistic where someone thinks less of themselves as if this person is not in a high vibration at all they don't value themselves they don't feel good about who they are and so they try to manipulate you we saw the magician energy and the devil card by making you feel like they have more power over you maybe when it comes to money home stability your sense of stability they wanted you to it's as if this wimpy all right so this person that's caught that caused you pain here they do not have more power over you it's just an illusion that you are enabling too i feel <clears throat> that's the energy you only f and you and it is going to be revealed listen wizard of oz energy when the veil is removed and you get to see the truth of who this person is you may run all right or may skip away delightfully because you'll realize you're free you've always been free you've always been free you just there's just an illusion here that keeps you tethered to this energy okay when I say free you're going to remove the prick from your flesh believe you me and that is the energy that the moon is is bringing for you clearance clearance of any energy blockages because this prick can be blocking your abundance blocking your energy it is something that is within your flesh it is causing a blockage and it needs to be it needs to be removed you need the ace of source energy out here you need that needle you need that pin to move that prick out of your flesh yes yes and we have the three of swords energy too it's not just a broken heart it's you using your tools the gift that you have so you have something sharp here use your intuition use your own sense of self your stability what it is that you want out of this experience in this life do you wish to continue with this energy this prick within you this thorn in your flesh hmm? You're going to realize that you have more power than you knew or that or than you realize cancer believe me believe you me <clears throat> you're about to realize that you have more power than you believe i'm happy for you because when we go through certain experiences <clears throat> sorry it's actually to wise us up to make us stronger so if you keep living in the past experience about oh what a person did to you you're not going to be able to stand on that and move forward that is supposed to build you it's supposed to become a stepping stone for you to step on and move forward to say no i have more i i'm able to use my discernment more no i'm able to trust more in my intuition no i'm able to tell what's right for me and what is not no i'm able to tell where i need to go what road i need to be on you're going to realize some of you that the path that you're on I feel like you weren't even moving on a path. You were, oh my God, this heavily feels like magic, magic and illusions. And it's, it's about to end. It's ending. And let's see why. Tell me more about cancer. Show me more. It's ending. How is this ending? So we have the moon and it is paired along with i'm getting goosebumps and the moon is paired with the sun energy i feel clearance tell me more this energy the double energy the moon card of the three so it's a ghost person guys something more about the devil energy in the reverse the moon card and the three of swords that's what i just did the moon card three of swords <clears throat> I 
you'll be getting something uh, a gift a message you see this person remember in the beginning we saw this person and this was you we're supposed to be going forward um, going on your journey yes you're taking your time but you're getting there you remember that right this also feels like hmm, this is so beautiful and powerful this also feels like someone coming to your aid and it feels like they're coming to your aid by being of service so listen to this if like it's for example if you don't follow your calling to start your business you may not help someone that needs your help like some of you cancer and may need some assistance from a person that is doing what they do <clears throat> like um someone is coming it's as if oh my god you are the one you're waiting for listen it's as if you're you are you are the crowd and you are the one going to the crowd you are the people you're going to serve and you are the one serving the people that's the energy so some, something is coming into you someone is going to help you cancer to see a different perspective with this moon energy and this devil card just by being of service they didn't know you know that they were going to come and help you they're they're following their heart and there's something that is pulling them to be on this journey they're taking their time trusting their intuition to go forward and i feel like, like it's leading them to you to help you and that's the same thing with you whatever calling or mission you are on keep going because that's, this is where your confidence comes in you don't know who you're about to help you don't know who you're about to give some blessing to so trust your heart and keep going on your journey over here because i see this is this is you that's coming to help you just i feel just by you focusing on your vision your mission trusting in your intuition trusting your guidance your calling keep going gracefully you're ready you're here to serve a purpose you, you're worth it and i feel like just oh my god it's amazing it's really beautiful because it goes back to clear up your past energy moving things out we have a water energy here so something is about to be moved out of you an energy a person just by you focusing on your mission ahead focus on focusing on your journey ahead of you focusing on following your heart and your intuition then this energy it is like this is what comes to to reveal some truth as if this is what is going to say yes i am worthy yes i have gifts and powers and talents i've been living a lie i've been living in illusions over here so this could even be you keeping yourself bound and trapped because of things that you're telling yourself that you deserve and this can also be a person so it can be you and it can be a person the cards that came out the three of wands someone is waiting waiting for something to be removed and this is this torment torment this thorn this thorn some of you have energetic attachment to a past love okay taurus virgo capricorn that's the energy all right taurus virgo capricorn there's there's a connection to this person maybe a soul tie um okay i feel you want to move away you're looking to find a way out here to be to, to 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 you want to know what else there is that you can manifest here i feel like you're about to seek some information about your spiritual gifts you're you're on your journey to becoming successful in business remember that believe me so just keep going and as you as you continue on your journey this this um energy that keeps popping up this prick is going to dissolve or or or, or kind of it's as if um things become loosened and so the thorn just flows out of you you know the prick just has to leave you because you're not holding on to anything emotionally in value in your sense of self anymore you become more free, more open, more giving, more willing to receive even guidance. Being able to, to accept because you know you deserve it, you're worth it. 
and so this is how this prick leaves your energy just by you being more open with the moon energy here and um, so then it creates more space for your abundance to flow into you and we're leaving this message here cancer happy birthday yay thank you so much for being here I love you so much I wish you all the best on your journey and may abundance prosperity success healing light enter your your entire energy field may wherever you go you bring light and beautiful energy i'm going to use the playing cards to get some information about the devil energy here i feel the playing cards want to say something hmm. so you could be carrying something along with you from the past something physical a, a piece of a piece of clothing an item victory <laughs> all right so this, this 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 devil energy wants victory over what talk to me talk to me talk to me send out the messages it's okay Some of you could be holding back from really giving this person your attention you are this energy your attention and your affection maybe you want to move away of course who wants to stay in torment unless you're crazy right <coughs> some of you could be dealing with a water sign and an earth sign pisces virgo capricorn scorpio cancer taurus any other messages for the devil energy? Any other messages for the devil energy here? Thank you so much, angels, spirits, and guides. Yes, yes, that's how I'm feeling. The seven of wands. You got this. You got this, Cancer. We, mo we are moving from the six to the seven. High transformation taking place here. Because you're trusting your desires, your creative energy. You remember, you're moving from the six to the seven in this journey of healing. Three, six, seven in one's energy going all the way up to the king's energy. And that's where you'll start making your money, your healing. Your healing. Look at that. We have the eight of pentacles repeated. So you're working on yourself, working on your journey. So I feel like this is what it is. Keep working on yourself focusing on what you have to give to yourself and what you have to give to others and um feel good you're at the eight of pentacles so you're you're working on yourself really I, I said i said that a million times but yeah you're doing what you have to do you're working on your business <laughs> so the nine this is the nine yes 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 okay so you're working on your business on your sense of self-worth you're feeling happy you're glowing up goku energy nine of pentacles so you're moving eight nine ten to the king and yes and yes and yes and yes um much love and blessings much love and blessings within your 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 life and your journey thank you so much for being so fruitful for being so nurturing and caring Thank you for your energy. Thank you for who you are, what you bring here, Mr. and Mrs. Pisces. Um, I mean, watch sign, cancel. Thank you. Thank you so much for being who you are in this life. Don't be afraid to embrace who you are, right? Your emotional self. And that is where your true strength lies. Other messages for cancel? All right, fortune, page of wands, other messages. <laughs> oh, yes, you're about to celebrate. And we have the nine of pentacles repeated. Hey, hey, you're about to celebrate your independence. Why? Look at this, the six of pentacles. Yes, there's a gift. You have a gift. You're giving, you're being of service, and you're receiving. You are receiving, possibly. From this page of wands possibly from this page of wands. but what are they looking i don't 
let's continue messages for cancer oh my gosh healing i feel like this is not just you healing but but you healing heals the entire situation so you're healing you and then the, your environment is healed and then even this person this page of wands this devil energy is also healed believe me you are that powerful thank you it's just for cancer thank you so much i think they want to end it there yes the messages should end here the queen of wands and the emperor here again still watching you um, we have the emperor, the queen of wands, the king of wands. So maybe in the future, you may be aligning with your soulmate. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, I feel you're definitely about to be sitting on your throne here when it comes to your business. Because you built it from scratch with your Cancerian hands, mind and heart. And you're sitting there looking over your, over your territory at what you've built the emperor right and yeah so that's where i'm leaving we have the ace of cups energy something bless um blissful coming into you abundance abundance and love so as i said you may be meeting a soulmate <clears throat> soon in the future because we have the king and queen of wands energy two people that really find each other attractive attracting each other and yeah okay that's beautiful I love it. I love it for you. Thank you so much for being here. I've said that a million times too. I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye. <laughs> All right. Remember, Cancer, that um, I really appreciate your support. So please go ahead and like this video, especially if the messages resonate. Share it with those that you love. And subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button to my channel for future video uploads and i'll see you then remember cancer that you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you namaste